This is the world's best pencil holder and you can put pens in it too. It has a lot of sections to put other things in these little trays too. And also, it will hold your pencils and has holes at the bottom that are a shape that won't let your pencils break when they go boop boop on the floor and break. But they won't break in the world's best pencil holder. It's made to look like that Barbasol can that Newman used in Jurassic Park to steal the dinosaur DNA. There's gotta be a sequel right now. You can buy these pencil holder files on my website, but I won't make them for you because they take 35 hours to make and then I'm sad because I spend all this time making products. So spend three dollars on my website, then I won't have to make anything and we can all be happy together. My friend Dr. Germs gave me this pencil holder from the 1960s or 70s and I really like it. I use it every day and I keep it on my desk. Uh, it has this nice spinning base. But I like to go places sometimes and I have all of these pencils that have very fine needle tips. Sometimes I draw with a set of eight or nine of them in different colors and sizes and hardnesses. Anyway, if you want to bring them around, either this tip is going to poke you in the pocket or uh, bend eventually and that's no good. So, inspired by this pencil holder and um, also the Barbasol can that Wayne Knight used in Jurassic Park to steal the dinosaur DNA. And this is what I came up with. Uh, it has a little bit of a stacking to the uh, bottoms of the pencils so they form a little bit of a pyramid that's easy to pick up here. Uh, the bottoms of the holes have stepped cutouts in a way such that the needle tips of the pencils can never touch anything inside of the pencil holder. They just slide in and out, and if anything, the plastic will hit the side edge of this cone. This is a really safe way to store a mechanical pencil while you want to shake it around. I came up with this lid, and I'm calling it the Camerodactyl DNA Pencil Case. Um, there's a version like this with a flat bottom, and then there's also a version with another screw bottom that will take these little cups also included in the file pack. And those screw on the bottom too. And they can stack continuously for things like lead and pencil sharpeners and, I don't know, breath mints. So I made this one um, in a, let's see, 21 pencil configuration. And I also made a much tighter uh, 19 pencil version and I made all of the files for each of the pieces the pencil holder the cap and the trays on the bottom and the pencil holder without the th threads for the trays on the bottom uh, all in both 19 and 21 pen holders and this one's just a little bit slimmer and I like it more although the gold looks strange to me it reminds me of a friend of mine's parents who were real party people in the 80s and had a black, gold, and mirrored bathroom in Manhattan. I know this isn't analog photography related, like most of the things on my channel, but it is analog graphy related, and if you're into 3D printing or making stuff in general, you should be into drawing some things. And if you're into drawing some, some things, maybe you're into mechanical pencils. If you're really into mechanical pencils, I have another channel called Cowabunga Pencil Time that I think 15 people watch, um, but you could check that out down below. If you're not, uh, just skip it. I don't know what else there is to say about this project. It's a pencil holder, quite possibly the best pencil holder in the world. Uh, the links for where to download and print it with the uh, slicer settings are uh, in the video description below. There's really no assembly. They screw together right out of the printer. Okay, um, I hope you print them out and love them and they protect your pencils. It's not a good ending. So did I make the world's best pencil case? Yes. Yes, I did. But it takes like 20, 30 hours to print. So you're going to have to print it yourself. But it's real nice.